Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can implement pagination on the show all product details page. So uh, this page is basically for admin. So implement. So we seen that how we can implement pagination on that page. So if I just go to the application and if I just go to the home page. So on the home page, we have implemented the pagination. As you can see, we have added this button so that we can load uh, more products. Again, if I just go to the show product details page, so this page is basically for admin and I'm currently logged in as an admin only. So on this page also, we have added one button that is called as a load more so that whenever admin will click on this button, then we will load uh, like next uh, number of products in, in, in this table. So this is how we have implemented the pagination. So if I just take you to the features that we are currently working on so this is the list of features that we want uh, to complete as of now so among these register the users we have already done and this feature like pagination for products on a home page and show all product details page so this feature is we uh, this feature also we have completed the next feature that we want to complete is adding the product search bar on a home page and show all product details page so if i just go to the application in this feature what we are going to implement is if i just go to the home page so on the home page we are currently able to see the products but we are not able to search any product so we are going to add one search bar so that user user can search any uh, product that he or she wants similar search bar we are going to add on this show product details page also so that admin can uh, come to this page and admin can search any product uh, in this table so we are going to add that search bar also Again, to add the search bar, there are multiple things to be considered. We have to add few uh, logic in, in a backend in our Spring Boot logic. And we have to add a uh, few code in our uh, Angular code as well. So again, I'm just going to divide it into different sessions. In this session, we are going to focus on how we can uh, complete our background process. That is our backend process in a Spring Boot. And maybe in the upcoming sessions, we will see how we can uh, like whatever changes we will done in this session in a spring boot we will see how we can implement those changes in our angular also so that this feature gets completed so let me just take you to the intellij and let's see how we can add these changes so again adding these changes is really very simple uh, as of now you must be knowing that we are using currently a spring boot and spring boot basically uh, works like uh, a Spring Boot internally basic uh, internally uses the Hibernate and Spring Boot Hibernate all these kind of uh, frameworks provides us the opportunity to, to create the queries and we don't really need to uh, write the SQL queries instead we can ask Spring Boot to create query for us and with that SQL query we can just fetch data in whichever format we want so similar concept that we are going to apply in this case also so this is the API that gets called whenever we uh, try to load any uh, any like whenever we try to load all the products on the home page. So if I just come to the home page and if I just uh, again come to the home page, let me just okay. So I just stopped the application. Let me just restart the application in a second. And now let me just uh, refresh this home page. So on the home page, we are just loading the products. So behind the scenes to load these products, we are just calling the API that is slash get all products. So this is the API that we are calling. So in this API itself, we have added the logic for the pagination in the last sessions. And in this API itself, we are going to add a logic for a search as well. So how we can do this? So very first thing that we have to do is we have to just add one more request parameter so like we have to just add one more query parameter basically so let me just add one more parameter which will be of type string and then let me just give the variable name as search key and we have to just use addressed request param and default value uh, like it will be a null only so let me just use default value is equals to null something like this okay so we don't really we can't really apply the null again over here so instead of null i'm just going to apply the empty string something like this okay so default value will be the empty string and this search key 
what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to um, pass it to our product service dot get all products method. So let me just go to this um, product service and inside this uh, get all products method. So let me just go to the product service and get all products method. Inside this, I'm just going to add one more parameter, which will be like string search key, something like this. And now let me just go to the go back to the controller again. And now we are just getting the error over here, which is obvious because we just uh, like we, we just have to pass our search key as well. So let me just pass search key something like this. Now let me again go back to the product service and inside the get all products function or method. Now over here, what we want is like we have already implemented this pageable. So after the after implementing the pageable, the next thing that we just want is we just want one if condition. So what I'm just going to check is if and here I'm just going to check search key not equals to something like this or instead of not equals to what we can just do is we can just use equals method that will be the um, that that will be uh, more useful. So if search key is equals to empty. So in that case, we are just going to use our find all because if search key is empty, then we are going to find all the products or else if search key is there, then we want to then we want to add a logic so that we can search the uh, products in a database with the help of the search key. So I hope what I'm trying to uh, I, I hope you are getting what I'm trying to say over here. So if search key is empty, then there then it means that there is no any uh, like search key present and we can just find all the products that we have in our database. So that is the reason we are just using a find all or else if search key is present, then we are going to take that search key and with the help of that search key, we are going to search in a database and whichever matching records are, we are going to return those records. Now again, I'm just going to keep this as it is. So over here, the next thing that we have to do is in our product DAO, in our product DAO, we have to add one method so that that method will create um, the SQL query for us because we are just uh, using the Spring Boot and internally uh, Hibernate and we are using the CRUD repository as well. So in this case, we don't really need to write the SQL queries. Instead, we can ask the uh, like Spring Boot so that a Spring Boot can prepare SQL query for us. And with the help of that SQL query, we can just fetch the data that were in whichever format we want. So now next question is how we can create the SQL queries or instead of that we can ask like how we have to write the method name so that SQL query will automatically get generated. So again, this is really very simple. We just have to follow few things and I hope uh, like uh, you will uh, follow those things because any single error, any single mistake will lead us to the uh, error. So just write it as it is like I'm just showing in a way as I'm just showing. So it will be uh, like it, it is really very easy basically we have to just use public and list of product because obviously it is going to return the list of product and then we have to just use find by so we have to just use find by make sure like f is small and in a by b is a capital is it is a typical uh, naming convention that we follow in a uh, java so we have to use find by and after that we have to give a variable name. So which variable name I'm trying to talk here. So let me just go to the product entity and over here we have product name. So whatever key I have, I just want to find it against the product name and a product description. So first let's talk about the product name. So we have to just copy the variable. So let me just copy the variable name, which is product name and let me paste it over here. And let's make sure that we are just using uppercase P over here. So what you have to just do is you have to just paste your variable name and you have to just make your first uh, first letter as upper case in your variable name, something like this. Now, after this find by product name, we have to just write containing. So make sure you are just using uh, like you are just not doing any uh, spelling mistakes 
containing ignore something like this so it will be something like find by product name containing ignore so containing is something uh, similar to the like operator that we use in a sql query so uh, you must be knowing that we are uh, we, we can use a like operator in a sql query so containing is something similar to this and ignore means it will ignore the uh, cases so it will match uh, our search key against the product name irrespective of the lower case or upper case in whichever case it will match so like in whichever like it will just ignore the cases and it will just try to match our search key against the product name so similarly uh, like similarly uh, with the help uh, like similarly uh, we have to just write the logic for our description as well because it is right now it is trying to match the search key with the product name but similarly we want to match it with our description as well so over here we just have to use or operator so we have to just write or so we have to just write or and again we have to just go to the entity class which in my case it is product.java and again we have to just use product description so we have to just use variable name and we have to just paste it again similarly we have to make uh, product description with starting with a capital P something like this and again we have to just write containing ignore and again containing is nothing but it, it is pretty similar to the like operator that we use in a SQL query and ignore means it will ignore the cases it will ignore the uppercase lowercase and this is how it will basically work so method name is really very big find by product name containing ignore or product description containing ignore now over here we have to pass few parameters so we have to pass key and then we have to pass pageable object as well so why we are using pageable because again uh, as as i as we discussed previously if we have let's suppose thousand products matching to our search tree then definitely we don't want to load all those thousand products we want to load them in a small batches so that is the reason we are just we have to just pass a pageable and pageable we have already created so we don't need to create it again we can just use uh, existing itself so very first parameter that we have to pass is we have to just use string and here it will be let's suppose key one comma string key two and then we have to pass a pageable so we have to just pass pageable and you can just give any name something like this now you must be thinking like why i'm just passing the key one and key two over here because search key will be the only one right but over here in a sql while uh, creating the query in a spring boot while creating the sql query we have to pass this key one so that it will match against the product name so for a product name we have to pass the key one and for product description we have to pass the key to something like this so this is how we have to treat it like product name and product description will be treated as completely different things and that is the reason for product name we have to pass uh, one separate key and for a product description we have to pass one separate key so this is how it will basically work and pageable you can just you just know like how why we want the pageable because uh, we don't want to fetch all the data in a one shot instead we want to fetch it in a pages so that is the reason we have to pass the pageable now we are done with our uh, dao so we have to just go back to the service and then over here inside our else what we have to do is we have to just use product dao dot find by product name containing ignore or product description containing ignore we have to just call this method inside this method we have to pass three parameters so very first parameter that i'm just going to pass is search key again the next parameter is also i'm going to pass is a search key because we have only one key right but we just want to you know uh, use that search key again against two different fields like product name and product description that is the reason we have to pass it for a two times because this is how the spring boot and um, internal uh, internally spring boot works so that is the reason we have to pass it for a two times and pageable we have already created so the same pageable we can pass it over here also something like this now this is going to return us the list of product so we can just write return in front of it so that 
uh, it will just return the list of product and if you just want you can just cast something like this but over here we don't need casting but we can just write it uh, like if you just want to cast you can just write something like this and now let me just save these changes and now let me just go back to the controller and inside a controller there will be no any changes like we have to just add this request parameter and it will be all set now again let me just quickly come back to the service and let me just quickly tell you what we did over here so that uh, at the end it should not be confusing so we are just taking one search key and against this search key we want to uh, search data in a database so there are two different fields on which we want to search the data so we have the product name and then we have the product description so in whichever field that particular key matches that record we are going to fetch so we are going to match our search key against product name and product description so for this we used our um, spring boot functionality so that sql query can automatically be created so we have to just write find by then variable name in our case product name then containing which basically works as a like operator in a sql ignore means it will ignore the uh, cases or or means like we want to fetch uh, i mean we want to search the key against product name or product description that is the reason we are just using or operator or product description again it we, it is a variable name containing means a like uh, it is similar to the like operator in sql and ignore will again ignore the cases and it basically takes three different parameters so first key like string key one is for product name key two is for product description and pageable is basically for a uh, like retrieving the objects in a retrieving a list of objects in a different pages or maybe um, like not in a so like if we have thousand products we don't want to fetch all the thousand products instead we just want to uh, fetch them in a batches so that is the reason we have to pass in a, a pass the pageable and if i just go back to the service over here we are just creating pageable and the each page will contain the 12 products so each page will contain the 12 products so that is the reason we are we have mentioned 12 over here if you just want you can just uh, change and maybe like you can specify any number that you want to fetch now we can just save these changes and we can just restart the application and let's see what happens exactly on a like on the terminal so over here we are just currently getting one error let's see what is the error that we are currently getting so if i just go back and if i just go to the top okay so if i just go to the top we have the exception and what is that exception is saying is this exception is saying like unsatisfied uh, dependency in exception and error creating the brain bin uh, with a name like order detail controller so i think what we can just do is we can just try to restart the application and over here again it is giving the exception like uh, failed to create a query for a method public abstract java util list uh, and over here it is just saying like uh, no property containing ignore found for a type string traversed path okay so product dot product name and over here it is giving some messages as well so what it is basically saying is it is basically saying that find by product name containing ignore or product description containing ignore then over here it is giving us like string and again some string and it is giving us the parameter and it is saying that no property containing ignore found for string okay so if i just go back to our dao and if i just try to find out like what is happening over there okay so let me first of all check the spellings if i we we just want to make sure that we are just not uh, making any spelling mistakes so what we are just writing is okay so spelling uh, seems good so let me just do one thing let me just uh, try to do one thing okay so over here i think i missed one more thing so what we have to do is we just have to use containing ignore case it is not a containing ignore it is containing ignore case so similarly we have to just use containing ignore case 
for product description as well and now let me just save these changes because over here if you just see it is clearly mentioning that no property containing ignore is found so we we just uh, did some mistake in this containing ignore now let me just uh, do one thing let me just go back to the service because over here also we are just getting the error so let me just remove this and let me just use find by product okay so now it is working perfectly fine i mean uh, now it is it looks perfectly fine now let me just save these changes and let me restart the application and i hope this time it will create query yes this time this time application started successfully that is the reason uh, our query is also created successfully now how we can test it right so if i just go to the postman so over here we can just try to test it out so in a controller we are just now using the search key as well so we have to just pass this search key as a uh, request parameter or query parameter so let me just copy these and default value will be the like empty string so first of all let's try to use a div, uh, use with empty string so over here what we just want to do is we just have to use page number is equals to 1 so we just have to use local host http colon slash slash local host colon 9090 slash get all products question mark page number is equals to 1 so page number is equals to 1 basically instead of this page number equals to 1 we can just make it as a 0 as of now and then the request will be the get request so let me just try to send it let's see what how it works basically so as of now it is giving us the um, like it is giving us some products so in this response it will be bit difficult to find out whether we are getting the expected result or not but what we can just do is we can just go back to our uh, IntelliJ and then we can just do one thing we can just try to print the size of result that we are getting over here so how we can just do is instead of directly returning the result we can just try to store it in our uh, one of the uh, list so let me just use list of product and let me just use it as a result is equals to something like this and then we can just use system dot out dot println and we can just use result size is and we can just use plus result dot size something like this and at the end we can just return the result something like this and now let me just save this changes and let me restart the application I'm just printing the size so that we can get idea like how many result or how many products we are able to fetch from the system. So now if I just go back to the postman and if I just first of all try to clear out the terminal and if I just go back to the postman and if I just click on the send then let's see. Okay so now if you just see result is 12 that means we are able to fetch the 12 products with this um, API call now what we can just do is we can just try to pass the search key as well so over here let me just go back to the IntelliJ again and let me just copy this search key which is which is our variable name and let me just come back to the postman and let me just give search key and you can just give it like give any search key in my case let me just use this combo as a search key and let me just use it as a combo and now let me just do one thing let me just clear out my terminal or console and now let me just try to send it let's see what happens so again we received some product and this time if you just see the result size is a 5 because like with this keyword combo we have only 5 products which are matching in our uh, database tables again to prove that it is ignoring the cases so what we can just do is as of now we are just using the combo with a capital C instead I'm just using it as a lowercase c and now let's see what happens when we try to uh, send the API so let me just do one thing let me just clear it out and let me just click on send again we received some products again the size is same because it is ignoring the cases so size is again 5 so we are not be able to see uh, exactly how it basically works so whenever we will integrate these api with our um, ui on our angular then only we will be able to visualize it on our angular side but i hope like you got the idea like how this search key and everything is basically working 
because in this response if you just see this response is really very big and finding this out like filtering like every single checking it manually uh, every single line is really very difficult that is the reason what we can just do is we can just try to integrate these changes with our angular ui and we can validate those changes uh, like it will be very easy to validate validate those changes in a angular side and on a browser itself so i hope like you got the idea like how we can implement the uh, spring boot changes to create any query and how we can use uh, use this containing ignore case and uh, what is the meaning of this containing ignore case and how we can ask the spring boot to create the query for us and alongside uh, i hope you got an idea like how we are going to implement this uh, search bar functionality in our uh, e-commerce application in the next session we will see how we can try to integrate these api changes in our angular side so i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session